this can never happen again. Do I make myself clear? No, don't even say anything. I don't want to hear it. Do you even know how close I came to losing you tonight? One second later, one sip more, and you'd be dead. No, I'm not going to stop. I didn't ask you to play the hero. I told you to avoid taking risks. To keep your profile low. Not for you to intercept a wine glass that was meant for me. And certainly not for you to drink it down just to prove there was poison in it. When you went down... <sighs> I don't care if you don't have regrets. You weren't the one meant to pick up the pieces. You weren't the one waiting by your bedside, hoping that you'd open your eyes again. Of course I'm angry. You think I'm made of stone or something? What the fuck were you thinking, huh? What in the world inspired you to play hero when you have no training whatsoever? No, you don't. What if you've been wrong, huh? What if your body was weaker than you thought? What if, 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 if I had gotten, hadn't gotten the antidote in time? It doesn't matter if you trusted me to figure it out. Jesus Christ, do you understand how lucky you are right now? If anything had gone wrong, any tiny thing, you'd be dead, gone, out of my life forever. No, no, you shouldn't have. Because you made a risky, stupid choice, and it's only by some miracle you're alive right now. I'm the field agent. I'm prepared to make the risks. I'm the one with the poison resistance and the hand-to-hand -hand training. If anyone should have had that wine, it was me. It doesn't matter if we got the guy in the end. We could have gotten him for something else and then added the poisonings onto it. You should have known that. You're the tech person. You still don't get it. I'm not lecturing you because you're a tech person. I'm lecturing you because I almost lost you. And that scared the shit out of me. My whole career here? You've been the voice on the other end of the line, guiding me, calming me, making sure I survived missions, and getting me out of sticky situations. Ever since I first joined the agency, you were my port in the storm, my safe harbor. I had the training, sure, but you saw the whole picture. You've saved me more times than I can count, and tonight, tonight that could have all ended. I was against you coming out into the field in the first place. It has nothing to do with that. I was against it because it terrified me, okay? The thought of you getting hurt and me being nowhere to help, it tore me apart. I mean, how do you think I ended up here? You think it was mere coincidence the agency sent me here? No, they sent me here because I demanded it. Because I had to make sure that you were safe. And tonight I failed. It doesn't matter why you did it. I don't want to hear about your pure intentions. I don't care. It doesn't change the fact that you took the hit for me. That you fell lifelessly into my arms. It doesn't erase that memory from my mind. It doesn't erase how terrified I was. 
that I wouldn't have you on the other end of my comms. 48 hours. That's how long I had in order to find the antidote. That's what the docs told me. 48 hours. And you would be gone. And that was after six hours it took to figure out what poison you'd even ingested. So that brings us down to 42 hours. We lost another four tracking down which company would hold the antidote because it was such a new poison. 38 hours. Five hours to fly across the country to break in and steal the antidote. The recon took three hours and that was rushed. Two hours for the prep, bringing us all the way down to 28 hours. The break-in luckily went off without a hitch and only took an hour. Then another five hours to get back so 22 hours remaining, less than a day. And that's only because everything went so well. If their security had been tighter, or if I had made a mistake, it could have taken a lot longer, and you'd certainly be dead. But you didn't think about that. No, you just played the hero. Listen to me. Listen! You're... Not a hero. You will never be a hero. Heroes don't exist! They're saps who die for stupid causes, and then they're forgotten. If you had died tonight, I'd be cursing your name. I don't care if that's harsh. You need to hear this. If things had gone south, if you had died... <laughs> Because you matter to me. Because more than anything in this world, you matter so much to me. Do you remember my first job? It was a shit show. Intel was wrong. The tech person was wrong. A lot of people died. Me too. Almost. I made it back to headquarters with blood everywhere and I was waiting for the debrief. That's when I noticed you. We weren't even working together yet. You met my gaze and you brought me a towel. You weren't even scared. You asked if I was hurt and then you wiped the blood from my brow. No one had ever done that before. And then we started working together and you were incredible. Nothing ever seemed to get under your skin. Nothing ever seemed to get under your skin. Nothing ever seemed to throw you. Even when that crazy job in Sweden went sideways, you never panicked. You got me through. You got me through so much. And tonight, these past two days, I came close to failing you. I can't do this job without you. I can't. I can't live my life without you. I thought I was fine with how things were. Better to just keep things simple. But when you went down, I thought that was it. That you were gone. That you had just left me, and I haven't even told you how I was... How I was hopelessly in love with you. How I had been from the first second I met you. Don't say anything, please. I don't need a response. You just need to know. If this fucks things up, we can deal with it later, but for right now, I just need you to know. I love you so much. That's why I freaked out. That's why I'm mad. Because I'm the one who's supposed to take hits for you. 
not the other way around. I'm the one who signed on for the field work, not you. <laughs> you shit. <laughs> yeah, well, if you were up for almost 72 hours straight, you'd look pretty shitty too. Glad your sense of humor's still intact. I don't know. Do we really need to think about tomorrow? For right now? Can we just be here? With each other? Tomorrow you can reject me or tell me off or say you hate my guts. But for tonight, I just need to see you talking and breathing. Good. Good. I know. And I will. I may just nap in this chair. No, I don't think I could leave. Not right now. Sorry. You're stuck with me. Oh, shut up. You're tired. Yeah, you are. Don't fight it. The doc said your body needs some time to recover. So rest. We can fight tomorrow. I'm not going anywhere, I told you. You're safe. No one is getting in this room without me knowing. So relax. Sleep. Good night.